to protecting yourself during a tornado, not every home is created equal. In tonight's Fox Files report, meteorologist Chris Higgins takes an in-depth look at some startling statistics about the safety of the home you live in. Right after the tornado, all I could, it was dead silence and all I could hear is a bunch of screaming. Shalom Simpkins, her husband and three young children barely escaped with their lives when a killer tornado tore apart their southwest Missouri home in December of 2002. But my husband jumped up, went to the back door and opened the door and it was right there. And so he just yelled at um, me to grab one of the twins and then the baby and run outside. For the Simpkin twins, it's an experience they will never forget. It was like a big twirl and it was black and and daddy came out of the blanket and I was still in the blanket so I didn't want to get caught by it and daddy, daddy got caught and daddy flew in the air. The family survived the tornado, but why would they choose to run outside and away from their home? The answer is simple. The home they were running from was this mobile home, and had they stayed inside, Shalom says they would have been killed. If you're in the bathroom and the mobile home is rolling and getting shattered, the bathroom is not really going to do too much for you. The statistics are compelling. Only 7% of the homes in the United States are mobile or manufactured homes. But out of that percentage comes 50%, nearly half of all tornado-related deaths. There's a variety of reasons for the performance of manufactured homes. Dr. John Myers is a professor of civil engineering at the University of Missouri Rolla. He says the reason tornadoes ravage more mobile homes is complex. And one of the critical issues with extreme event, high wind, tornado resistant is how well these systems are anchored uh, to the foundations. Chapter 700 of the Missouri Revised Statute requires all manufactured homes to be anchored to the ground. However, according to Dr. Myers, many of these homes are either anchored improperly or as in Shalom Simpkins' case, have no anchors at all. Another major concern for Dr. Myers, the materials used in the manufacturing process. They're sometimes not quite as durable and impact resistant, and the connections oftentimes aren't quite as good as conventional site-built homes. So what can be done to make them safer? If there was a more vigorous uh, inspection, and warranty compliance program. And that's exactly what's being done in some parts of the country. In 1993, thousands of manufactured homes were destroyed at the hands of Hurricane Andrew. As a result, the federal government passed sweeping new building codes that required manufactured homes in hurricane zones to be built to withstand winds up to 130 miles per hour. Last summer, those new codes were fully tested when Hurricane Charlie hit Florida, and the results were impressive. Take a look at these pictures from Punta Gorda. An older, poorly anchored mobile home is ripped to shreds, while right next door, a newer home, designed to meet the more stringent standards, remained intact. For Shalom Simpkins and her family, the new standards offer little comfort. Would you ever consider living in a mobile home again? No, not at all. I wouldn't even consider it. Now, the sweeping changes in the federal standards that work so well in Florida do not apply here in the state of Missouri. That means manufactured homes here in this state are only required to maintain a minimum wind standard of between 70 and 80 miles per hour. But Chris, is anything being done to change those standards in Missouri to make these homes safer? Well, what they did last year, the Missouri legislature passed a new rule which will go into effect on July 1st, which mm -hmm. basically makes it mandatory for the installers of the new mobile homes mm -hmm. in this state to go through state certified training before they can install the homes or the anchors. Mm -hmm. That's great for the new homes, but it does nothing for the older right. homes of which there are quite a few. Quite a drastic yeah. comparison there oh, in your video amazing. of one with and one without. Well, it's amazing stuff. Amazing. All right, thank Chris, you, Chris, thank you.